Hey, I'm going to be showing you how to remove uh, the low oil sensor on your Predator 212cc engine. And uh, so first off, what you'll need is a uh, extension for your socket wrench. I'm trying to read this. Uh, 5 16 volt is what it is. I don't know if that's exact on there or not. It seems to work, yeah. And uh, so you're going to find those two bolts down there and loosen those. And then, other one real quick. Just get a good angle in there. That wasn't as loud, it's going to be in the video as it was right here. So uh, I'm going to unscrew this all the way, and, uh, oops, and unpause the video, so I'm going to pause it real quick. Okay, and now that these bolts are undone, you can go ahead and uh, set those down somewhere. And uh, don't just go and try and pull this out because you got to undo that bolt right there which is uh, what you cut if you don't want your low oil sensor to work but uh, most people just take it out and I guess this is better to do when you're uh, when you have that screwed in so this thing doesn't waddle around everywhere so unscrew that one almost got it Okay, there you go, and screw that and pull it so that goes through there. And then you could just uh, take that and pull this straight through. Don't hit your uh, crankshaft or no, or if you have your connect. Well, it probably won't matter if you have your connecting rod on because you won't be able to hit it, but uh, take that out. And wire's stuck. And so once you get that, you have your little oil sensor. And, uh, let's see. So, that's what I was going to say. Uh, you're going to want to seal that hole, obviously. And, uh, you can just use this thing, keep the wire in there, and cut it right here. Which is what I might do. So, you know, I'm just going to, yeah. I'm just going to go get some sealing bolts from the hardware place. And, where is my thingy? Here it is. So I'm going to measure that for you so you guys can get them beforehand. So the dimensions of that hole, the, let's see, focus and turn that on. I'll do it in inches and millimeters. Okay. So the, the width of that seems to be 0.156, well is this calibrated? No. Of course not. Alright, so the width is like, no, oh, said 0 0.3, 0 0.4, 0 0.4 of an inch, and switch to millimeters, and it's gonna be a, uh, 10 millimeters. So, uh, that's basically it for the, the length of that, it's going to be uh, pretty much about 